Welcome to Java Farm. Now I am going to show you how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 on VirtualBox uh, 7.0. So this is the latest version of uh, VirtualBox 7.0.8. So I am going to create one new virtual machine uh, giving the name as RE. RHEL 9.2 so 9.2 is the uh, current latest release okay now I am providing the directory path where the virtual machine files are getting stored next I am browsing the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 ISO file so you need to register the Red Hat uh, website in order to download the ISO file uh, skip the unattended, unattended insertion. Okay, now I am going to allocate around uh, 8 GB RAM, 4 CPU cores, and hard disk size 40 GB. As usual, I am assigning. Okay, now let us start the. Before starting, I am checking some other settings. So I am unchecking floppy. So optical drive is the first device in boot order and pointing device will be USB tablet. Okay, uh, network adapter let it be as it is. So I think you can connect to internet. Okay. So these are the settings. Now I am starting the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 virtual machine and let us begin the installation. So English will be the default language, English United States. So keyboard layout, everything as it is. Uh, select the hard disk that is installation destination I am selected time and date uh, according to my time zone software selection will be server with guide so everything is done so user setting provide the root password So everything is done, so let us start the insertion, begin insertion. Insertion is completed, uh, let me reboot the mission. Okay, after rebooting, uh, it is asking some, some more thing. So we need, uh, we are having some more step to complete the setup. Set. So provide the login username. So this user only is a login user and provide the password for the login user. That's it. So uh, Red Hat 9.2 virtual machine is installed. Now what I am going to do, I am going to adjust the display size. Okay. Now what I am going to do, I am going to uh, copy uh, some RPM files from Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux 9.2 DVD ISO file. So here you can see that I have mounted the uh, DVD ISO file. So I am going to uh, install these RPMs. Okay, So these RPMs I have copied from DVD ISO file. So these RPMs are required by uh, VirtualBox guest edition software. Okay. I think around 13 files are there. So these 13 RPMs are need to be installed uh, in order to uh, install VirtualBox guest edition. Okay. So these are the dependencies files. 
Okay, so open the terminal, uh, switch as a root user, only root user can install the RPM files. So in single shot, I am going to install all the RPM files. Okay, in single shot, I am going to install all the RPM files. So all the RPM files are available in DVD ISO file itself, no need to download from internet. Okay. Yes, so uh, installation is done. So the dependencies files uh, required by Castration software are uh, installed. So make note of this uh, RPM. So I have provided the list of RPM in the description of the video. You can copy paste. Okay. So now I am ejecting the DVD ISO file. Now I am going to insert the uh, virtual box guest edition CD image. Go to device, insert guest edition CD image. So now what I am going to do, I am uh, going to uh, copy the content of uh, virtual box uh, guest edition software to one location in my uh, local virtual machine. So instead of directly installing from uh, CD, I am copying the content to one location. So due to some issues, I am copying that. Uh, so I am copying the content of guest edition software to locally. Okay. So from here, uh, you can open the terminal. Go to terminal, go to the guest edition software location so give the permission okay now dot slash vbox linux additions dot run that's it it will install the virtual box guest edition software. So guest edition software installed successfully. So we need to uh, uh, configure some additional settings and reboot the mission. Okay. Now what I am going to do, I close everything, shut down the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 virtual mission. Now right click settings, uh, general advanced shell clipboard and drag and drop uh, will be bidirectional, system motherboard, hard disk will be the first device in boot order. Okay, shared folder, I am going to add one uh, local windows folder as a shared folder and I am going to auto mount that uh, shared folder so that it can be accessed in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 okay. so instead of drag and drop you can use the shared folder for that purpose only I am showing this demonstration ok now let me start the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 virtual mission Okay, now what I am going to do, I am going to type some uh, command in the terminal and then I am going to copy paste this uh, terminal output to uh, Windows host machine, okay. So I am copying this uh, terminal output 
to check whether shared clipboard feature is working or not. Yes, I can able to copy paste from Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 virtual machine to Windows host machine. Now let me try from Windows host machine to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 virtual machine. Yes, I can able to copy paste the content. Okay, now uh, let me try whether shared folder is working or not. So you can see the shared folder is got mounted, but anyway, only root user can access the shared folder. So what I'm going to do once again, I'm going to terminal, uh, switch as a root user. CD slash media shared folder name. Yes. Now you can see that you can access the uh, shared folder content. So Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2 installation on VirtualBox 7.0 with guest edition uh, is successful. So make sure that all the dependency files are installed before installing the guest edition software.